Yeah, pretty much exactly. Uh, there's still the Aegis on TA for one more minute. And I like... Oh, hold up. And they're going again into the bottom. They got the shackles up. Blizzy, can they find the kill in time? They won't now. He can just go into the split. In fact, he's in the back line. Crystallized, putting that Epistle Blade to work. Instantly killing off the Takira. They turn their attention towards Miracle. And Finger of Death goes to work with the extra buff up. Apart from Ether Lens, two just got it too easy. And now they turn their attention over towards death. Train out mana, sure. Why not? But keep the stunts going. Three euros loss for complexity and a very long death time for two. Another reason Crimson Guard in this game is a bit questionable. Oh. You can see it's dispellable by this brew. We're going to see that happen again. This game continues 3-4-3. Three, three. No way to survive. Butterfly queued up as his next item. They look for an opportunity. It's onto the Winter Wyvern. Try and protect him with that Lotus Orb from Blizzy. He's just a protection god. Winter Wyvern. He's burning so damn hard. Can't get out of the macro pipe. But the oh. curse! It's such a long range. Four heroes trapped together. The SK can't really help out. There's enough stuns. Finger of Death goes. And that's Miracle down. 3-4-3 three, three has joined him. Magical will stay on the back of Limp. So the two position, he will not be able to survive. They're just waiting for it. Maybe he can. No. Blink over the top of the the ice path, no way to get the controls done. Jumps over to death where he dies. Everyone's dead for complexity. Razor, so this oh, is what an invis rune. So much, in, so much vision. He's in the back line. Wait, what? what? He attacked the Stata? What is he doing? Jakiro instantly gets stunned up by the magic missile. And he just revealed his position. You get the ice path off. So Zfreak trapped inside the mass serpent wards. VS swapped him out and gets himself trapped inside the mass serpent wards. I feel like I'm watching like the Three Stooges all over again. A quick jump over a miracle into the lanes. Another spirit jump as far as he can go. He's got TP scroll available. He'll burn every spirit he's got. Is there a cancel? Oh, he reached him just in time. The search from the Darkseer allows the Hex to connect a miracle. No matter how big you are, you come into this northern jungle of complexity and make sure they've got some level of control. But the positioning of death, he's going to break the smoke. And they've got friends. Amber Spirit able to get a double searing chain. The ice path actually catching him and the chains are out. Miracle, he'll spirit jump himself out. Here comes your stone gaze and the echo slam. Z Freak hits the mark. Reincarnation will still be there. Blizzy looking for a backpack into the wall. They can't move away. Complexity, they're stepping on their own toes at this point. Limp's gonna have no damage left and Magical's gonna have it all. 109 stolen damage. The answer. And now Limp's got his work cut out for him, having to defend. The mid lane pushes in. Now, they actually almost want to push that back out right now to stop the backdoor protection. Uh, I mean, to have the backdoor protection, but when you get the back wall ice path combination, Complexity have no answer. A double buyback will do it. So, okay, money is your answer. No matter how much investment you get in, into Complexity, it's still not going to let you buy your way out of this position. The melee rack is going down to the mass serpent boards. Limp is having a hard time getting close enough, and then they just jump the back lines. Another BS swap, but it doesn't stop Z Freak from burning to the Raid Fire Blast. The devil just follows you to the grave. Raid King, lock him down. He actually still is fine. He's level 21. The reincarnation will just pop at level 3. And then maybe with the Echo Slam. There it is from Z Freak, but it's still not enough. They're just burning out of here. No way for Complexity to really stay in this game. Death can't TP out. He's actually burning. No, okay. He can. He had to. Yep, now. Heading outside of the base. This is a dangerous high ground crystal. Smoke has already been broken. Cuckoo breaks everything with his invis and Tim's.
splits them up. Magical's on the high ground, but the rest of the team trapped on the low ground. He's going to try and survive with the Shrine until his team can get back up here. They drop the Serpent Wards down, but they're on the low ground. It's not really doing that much. Now Gabby finds his opportunity to charge into the back lines. Choose dead. Misha also going to be brought down. Triple kill for Armel. How many more can he get? The lasso now on to Crystallize. It won't quite be a rampage. AU getting in there, but the GG already being called. Nine all right, well, we're just in kind of mode farm for both teams. In a bit of trouble up top here. Yeah, looking for the roll, not going to find it. They do get the Centaur Stomp out. Silence as well, wall drop down. Still pretty tanky though, has that Bracer, gets the lasso out as Armel arrives on the scene. Chu will finally drop it to one for one so far. Elsewhere on the map, AU going down, but it's Blizzy getting chased down in the trees. And Tim will secure that with the Fisher. More heroes also on the way in. Crystallize interested in another go with the Diffusal Blade. I don't know if he's going to go for Armello Tim to do swap back onto the Razor. They've also got the stun Tim trying to run forward. He's got the chain stun. Can they actually bring down the Weaver? Crystallize finally popping. But now the Fisher stun Armel survives. Tim's with the plays. Oh my god. Should have gone for the Earthshaker instead of the Razor potentially. But it really comes down to it, right? They want to jump in, pop one person with the lasso or drain one person with the, the Static Link, and the Spirit is really denying that at every turn. Crystallize immediately is getting at the smoke. He's going to get jumped on here, but they don't manage to lock him down. Vacuum. Gabby pops the BKB, so too does Armel, but Magical's just around the corner, and these auto-attacks are doing so much damage. Armel forced to turn tail and run. He gets auto-attacked down on the other side of the fight. Gabby's just going for Chu. Doesn't even manage to kill him with the Mana Void, and Chu now rolling back onto him. Gabby looks like he will finally finish off that kill as TNC throw in two core buybacks. Three buybacks now. Navi just taking a moment to regroup. Magical still pretty good on the mana. They're going to have to kite this Medusa around, but not so easy in the case of Crystallize. He finds Tim's inside of the trees. Armel trying to drain out Magical. But once again, they have the swap. Tim's finds himself a nice echo, but there's no follow-up stuns. And Magical's just standing there, auto-attacking everybody. No problem whatsoever. Crystallize godlike. The first game of Weaver that we've seen this event. And it is a hell of a game. PNC left completely in shambles. They've got three heroes alive. Anti-Mage dead for 80 seconds. He bought up earlier to get that Abyssal Blade, which didn't end up doing anything. Yeah. Now Navi look. This game's over. I would have called it by now, yeah. I'd say. Game out in the next 10 minutes. Yeah. One, one or two successful team fights. The TA is at an insane timing. At the moment, the Wraith King also now with his armlet. And Blink is super formidable. Yeah. He's finally got level 12, so his ultimate is actually usable. Oh, Gabby sitting up here farming, but they know exactly where he is. He gets straight up Hex. Magical won't even be needed to finish that kill. They had all the vision in the world. He, okay. felt, he felt safe. He's got two Observer Wards right there, watching the two ramps up onto that hill, but Smoke gets right underneath it, and Navi, another crack at this uh, bottom tower. Yeah, well, they're going to be able to finish it off. Go straight for those racks as well. That's that buyback, but I don't think you can afford to expand oh, it. Oh, no, Navi are really setting up for this nicely. They've already got the side trap down. Lizzie is getting jumped onto, and he's gone. Good pop from TNC. Will-O-Wisp gets put down. Crystallize jumping in pretty aggressively. They're going for AU. Bit of a mispositioning from him, potentially. Still haven't dealt with the Will-O-Wisp. Nice shackle as well from Chu. The melee racks have fallen, and it's still five seconds to go on this Morphling. They're going to be looking for Magical, but the Refraction is helping to keep him alive a little bit longer. Crystallize comes back in. It's way too much lockdown. Nothing to save the RC. He finally gets the Enrage off, and he's going to keep on chasing onto Magical Waveform through from Gabby, as they will manage to pop the Raid King ult once again. Nice stolen Hex. Gabby going to keep Chu locked down here. Secure one more kill, though. Uh, oh, no, Chu actually gets the kill on Cuckoo. And one mid. And at that point, TNC just didn't have any plays left. Yep. Uh, the two supports were never going to drag them back to the game. Tim's, they know exactly where he is. Blink onto him, get the dust. Chu just waiting for the Hex. Magical two shots him now with the Daedalus Blizzy. Straight up onto the high ground. They're going to try and pop the Brewmaster at the very least. Can they do it? They've got the E-Blade. All right, that's some kind of a turnout. They're fighting on top of their shrine as the Mega Creeps start pouring into the base. That's going to be trouble. Kanka being focused, trying, helping to keep everybody alive. Chu once again over in the trees, looking for these shackles. Going to block himself in with the Mass Serpent Wards. Is that going to keep him safe from the Ursa? I'm not sure. The Will-O-Wisp is certainly helping. Cuckoo finally gets through. Actually, not quite with the face boots. He's still being controlled. Couple more auto attacks from Magical to finish him off. Chu jumps forward for one more Hex. And that is going to be your GG called... Navi moving forward into the upper bracket here at ESL1 Mumbai and TNC.
are going to sentry out the trap, but they've got to be careful oh, here. The toss this back. Is be questionable. They are going to be able to get the instant toss into Hex and straight up blow him up. But can they actually survive through the second life? Fairy Spirit's going to go down, so it's now going to be a four versus five. Yeah, never mind. KP, he's going to die in the northern side. K Iceberg doesn't actually have the wrecks it up. What a black hole for Bebby. Actually managed to lock down three with the Ellis. Makes up for everything. There is so much damage with the three man impel as well from Ninja Boogie. What a combo from Maneski. That's going to be able to wipe out Ghosting. The Weaver, he's not making it out alive either. What a huge turnaround from Maneski. Febby saving the game for the He wants Ghosting. We're going to start this fight around the Roshan pit. They do manage to get the bugs onto the lion. You know that Nai is going for it. Febby, oh, that's his blink in. That was not the initiation he was hoping for. Hopefully he has buyback, okay. He refreshes and immediately get Winter's Curse, so that's not going to be the black hole either. Now Febby's just kind of sitting in the river, waiting out his sins. He will be able to blink away, need to get Silence out there. Uh, Jin is looking good with his double damage, but he gets thrown up in the air with that Cyclone. There's going to be a buyback from that Winter Wyvern, so they are still going to have a 5-on-5 five five for this Roshan pit. Oh, what a dab! KP throws the Earth Spirit back, now looks to make sure he doesn't get picked off by this Weaver, and he will be fine, because the rest of Maneski is going to be here. They're going to be able to get the Weaver, LSA to follow up, and boom, there goes the damage. Ghosting trying to come in to try and beat up Ninja Boogie as a five position. Well, that's not going to be a good trade. He just dies. But once again, Maneski are in position where they can smoke up, wrap around, and make the initiation into the back line if they can That's blow the Urban coils up. But Moon, he got himself way ahead of the rest of his team, and now he's going to be caught. He gets tough snowballed and immediately punched down. Iceberg, he's going to be grabbed by Ajit with a finger of death. Not quite enough in time. Can he blink away or anything? No, Iceberg is still dead. That Storm Panda throwing the Ursa up in the air for a while. He will come back down, does not have the BKB anymore. In fact, now with the Omni Slash on top, he nearly pops the Enrage, which he More still had to go. So he soaks up all that damage. Primal Roar going out. Can they turn and fight? Or are they just going to be caught by so many Disciples? Iceberg's back! Coming back in with the two-man LSA. Blows up the Puck with the Laguna Blade. Now, can he do a little bit more, especially with the Oracle here? Buying the Ursa time will be able to heal him back up. The Ursa charging forward with the help of Iceberg. They should be able to lock down this Brewmaster and maybe even go for more Iceberg. Still has that mobility of the blink, but it looks like the rest of Maneski 